Tom Tidbit was very careful. It was February and he was delivering the proof in Lusanne. One man took balls who he was to do its delivery. I might see what kind of animal that's never seen in this country. If I have time, that is, said Tom. What who, what, who, who is an animal had been visiting on the way to Marsburg? The route was blocked by another red van. What's the who back from that van? He wondered. He looked as a man was weaving at him, but it was not a goat weave. I who take my job away, he snorted. I was to do the mill run after getting an animal ready for tomorrow's affair. Tom didn't want to bother with what he was talking about, who passed it and who on. When he arrived in Marsburg, he started delivering the proof that was supposed to get through. Who told him was he finished and was to head to Glenbrook? He saw the police car in search of a van containing a hunter. Excuse me, sir, do you happen to have any business with a man? that was wanting to steal the job of delivering the proof, asked an officer. Who, officer? He was blocking the room, wanting me to let him take over my job assistancy, said Tom. I just met him outside this town. That's his scheme he's doing. He wants to steal the proof vehicle and deliver with kidnapping anyone, said the officer. Just then, we looked up at the van driving to the tall. The man came out, but the officer stopped him in case he would try to flee. Tom shook away before he was to stop him. While driving, he thought about his task. Why would he hunt an animal before stealing poof? He thought he'd better find a trooper if there was an article of this case. Suddenly, Tom stopped. He ran out of petrol. He couldn't get home to Glenbrook. He tried to hook anyone, but hadn't got any signal. He couldn't push his mail van, so he had to wait till someone would help him. He did his best with writing a book he brought from who. Before he did, he looked up behind his back. Was he seeing things? Father Bigfoot was multi -colored. he moved back carefully to look at who the foot belonged to. Flat boots were multi -colored and the trunk was the same. What? Who? Certainly not. Yes, it was an elephant, all patchwork. It was real. Tom said to him, after looking 
at the beautiful street museum. Oh, you I do see elephants in colours, yes. I'm Elmer. I saw you run out of petrol, so I thought I'd give you a push to the next petrol station, said Elmer. That was his name. Then he told him why he was worried about the animal hunter. I've been spying on him and was waiting for Charles to take his equipment out to the police. Oh, so that's why the other van was blocking me, exclaimed Tom, starting to realise why this was up. If I tell the next police station this, was a myth. He was following the hunter who bothered you again. Alma agreed. He pushed his van to Granbrook. Tom had to pick whenever they keep to a hill. What? Once arriving at the next petrol station, he had petrol, then delivered the poop, then went to another police station. Alma left to walk back in the bushes. Who <gasps> sort of had Tom got back in his van? The other van came screeching to a halt. Out came the animal hunter blocking his way, not letting him leave Glenbrook. You've got a minute to tell me where that elephant is. I saw you with it, he snarled. I'll steal your poof. You've gotten the right for illegal jobs. You shall have my van, Ultra Tom. What the? Our machine was came stomping up to the animal hunter, grabbing him by the wrist, then threw him in a nut by bin. Two officers came to see what the racket was. When we saw the criminal in the bin, we thought it was time to put him in jail. Tom and Alma left Glenbrook before the binned man would see them. That was cruel. Cool said Albert. I was wanting to pick him up to chuck him in the bin for us till today. I'm glad I took the second officer of this roof. The hoop, hoop of a hunter would hunt so again, said Tom, and hoop off after she goodbye. Alma went walking back into the ward to continue his holiday.